I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, today we are going to talk about makeup that I've been using for a while, some of them are new releases, actually most of them are new releases that I've been using for a couple of months or weeks, so if you want to hear my thoughts then please keep on watching. <music> Okay, so I'm going to use all of the products that I'm going to talk about on my face today. And my hair is a mess. I'm going to go to a hairdresser tomorrow and try to disguise these gray hairs that I have. But that's why my hair looks like a mess. But we are not here to talk about my hair. We are here to talk about the makeup. So I'm going to start with a primer. And if you already know, I love Hourglass Primer and my holy grail is, oof, just dropped it almost, is uh, this one, the Hourglass Veal. This is so disgusting, I don't know if you can see. Hourglass Veal Primer, and I feel like I have maybe one or two uses left. And when Hourglass released the new primer, and this one is called Vanish, of course I needed to get this one. I've been using it for a while. I just had it back in this packaging so I can show you. But it's a glass packaging. Looks really, really nice. And it says Vanish Airbrush Primer. And supposed to be really good for oily or combination skin. And I've been using it. Just drop my... And I've been using this for a couple of weeks. I love this primer. I really like it. I feel, I like, I feel like I like it more than the Veal primer, but it's really good. It feels almost like a, not a sil like a silicone, uh, like a filter on the face, which take one half one more. It goes really nice into the skin, minimizes the pores, makes my makeup last really long time on my face. Also doesn't, make my oils come through as fast as other primers. So I feel like it really smooths out my skin. Now, I had some makeup on this morning, so I took it off before I was, uh, before I sat down to film this video. So I look a little bit really crazy, but okay. So I've been really liking this primer. So if you're curious to know if you, if this is working, if it, this is a good primer, I will definitely tell you that it is. And, um, it's a new holy grail. Foundation. Well, we can talk about foundations a long time. And I'm going to talk about the foundation that we're using a lot. But right now we are going to go with eyeshadow primer. Now I had a chance to try this that base crease killer eyeshadow base. This one here. And it's um, like any eyeshadow primer like um, Juvia's Place or the P. Louise kind of has some coverage in it. And it does makes, okay, let me just be honest. It's thick, it has some coverage. I like the packaging. Uh, it's medium coverage, buildable. It's really nice feels light. It does, I have really oily eyelids. It does make my eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow to stay on for around something between nine and 11 hours. Um, I'm still trying it out. It's not full, full coverage. I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely medium. And I do set my bases with some powder because I tried this one and it lasts seven hours if I don't set it between nine and 11 hours if I set it with some powder powder before I go in with the eyeshadows. So I'm going to do that today just because I want to. And I'm going to use some Huda Beauty powder. The regular, this one is in shade Sugar Cookie. And I'm going to use today. This is the Tati ones, Tati Beauty, but Tati Beauty doesn't exist anymore, but I still like to use the products. Okay, this puff, I really like this puff. So I did set it with some powder and I like it. I like how that it has some coverage. I feel like it's light and I do like this primer. So I will definitely tell you to continue using it. With the palette, I'm going to go in with Love Notes palette. Oh my God, I love Beauty Bay eyeshadow quality. I love the how blendable they are, how beautiful they are. And look at this palette. 
it's stunning and i'm using every single shade in here it has a nice mirror it feels light it has some fallout so if you don't like that you're not going to like this but it's a really good palette and i'm going to go in with some pink today it does have some pink it's a little bit powdery but it's really good palette for the price and it's so beautiful look at this pink it is really really nice i love beauty bay eyeshadows they have a really nice quality and this one just spoke to me when i just saw this online i immediately bought it because i really like the colors and i've been using it using it since maybe like three four weeks i don't know when it was yeah a week after it launched it arrived to me and i've been using it since then of course i did went with other brush uh, brushes no palettes in between but i really really enjoy this palette so i went in with this um handkerchief i don't can't pronounce this but this one i went into the crease and now i am going to go in with cheeks this color up here and then i'm going to go with ruby to dip it up and of course i'll miss i'll mix, mix this one and this one on my eyelids they blend really nice and they're easy to build up they are powdery but pigmented they're really easy to work with i think beauty bay uh, eyeshadows are beautiful and perfect for people that only used to use eyeshadows and want to experiment and uh, want to I don't know how to blend and are like a beginners for the makeup and um, it's easy for everybody to use it you see it's pigmented but I'm not going with the deep one that's called Ruby just to dip. I'm not going to do anything special, but I just want to dip up the look a little bit. Going in with my fingers, go to Cupid. Just to apply some here. Really like the purple shades in this palette too. I feel like this one is a little bit harder to Cupid. It's a little bit Oh, it's hard pressed so this one is a little bit more hard to work with but it still is easy to build up and it looks really nice like a satin finish and then I'm going to go in with this confetti color or shade This is really, really nice. I've been really liking this palette. Do you want to go in with this from MAC? This is the Shadow Shifter Duochrome Eyeshadow. And I want to go in, I have all five shades that are in the collection. And I really enjoy these. These are really, really beautiful. And every time I wear them, I get a lot of compliments. I really like them. I like all of the colors. Uh, I do like the green one. A little bit more this one is definitely my favorite let me show you uh, this green blue one is definitely my favorite that's called ho ho hocus really like i really like this but i'm going to go in with calling your bluff color this here i like it like a gold purple shade now you can see it has a nice shift look at that definitely brings the eyeshadow to another level really beautiful so if you haven't purchased this i will definitely recommend you to do so because these are just stunning and they stay on the eyes for the whole day actually really really good so i'm going to go in with nimia under eye um what's it called the cooling under eye stick and i really like to use this under my eyes because it's cooling it's not too cooling so it kind of irritates my eyes it does not do that but it does makes my concealers look better actually 
and I forgot to tell you, but on my eyes I've been using this Clinique uh, High Impact Lash uh, Amplifying Serum on my lashes every night and I've been using it for a week, like a week, seven days, so I'm not really sure how, if it'll do anything for my lashes, so I need to use it for weeks to actually tell you. But what I can say, it doesn't irritate my eyes. I have really sensi sensitive eyes and it doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't look, I don't look, get red. I don't, it, even if I get it in my eyes, it doesn't disturbing anything. So it doesn't irritate, which is really good, but I need to use it more to actually tell you what I think about it. So on my face, I'm going to in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now this is my Holy Grail, but I recently went back to it because I haven't been using it for years because I've been using other foundations, trying out other foundations. I have like five or six foundations that I haven't even opened that I need to talk about on my channel here. But uh, I went back to this one and I realized that it, I love it. I love the coverage. I love how long it lasts, but it dries down really fast and I've been having a hard time to uh, hard time using it, um, spraying it on my face. So I started using this polyglutamic acid, helps locking in moisturizer. This is from MK. I don't know if I, the MK list, I don't know if I pronounce this right, but I've, this is a serum that you can use during the day and night. And it says, use AM and PM on clean skin, applying a piece size amount on your face and neck and last step before makeup. Uh, as your last step before makeup. But I've seen this on TikTok, somebody mixing this with foundation and I actually bought it just because of that, because I want to use this, but love how it looks on my skin, love how long it wears, but I just have a hard time blending it as fast. So I mixed a drop of this with this foundation and it's perfect. So I'll go to do that. I actually lost my pump. So I know where my pump is, I need to find it. I have a pump that I've been, you know, switching from a one package to another one, or bottle for another one, but I lost it, so. I hope this will be enough, we'll see. And I'll go in with one pump of, the, pump of this. Like that. Probably use this to mix it together with my foundation. And it actually helps me to apply my foundation more even. Um, it doesn't make this dry as dry as it dry as fast as it usually does. And it locks up, locks the moisturizer, moisture into the skin. So go in my beauty blender and apply this foundation. This foundation is perfect if you are for weddings or parties or special occasions if you want your foundation to stick on your face and don't move. Okay, and I've been using this concealer, Magic Away Liquid Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, this is, not, this is not a new product, but it's new for me. And I hate the packaging. I can't close it up the whole way. And if I do, it's impossible for me to open it. So I don't like the applicator. I love how it looks on my skin. I love how uh, it covers, but it doesn't make me look dry because I do have plenty of wrinkles. But guys, the packaging is a disaster. And my sister also have it and she also hates the packaging and now I do too. So everything is good except the, except the packaging. But it blends into nothing. Look at this. I'm looking at myself. Sorry guys, if I look, don't look straight at the camera all the time, but I just want to be sure that I'm zoomed in and that you can see every detail. But look how nice it looks under my eyes. It's just the packaging that I really, really hate. Okay, so I'm going to set this just under eyes and I'm going to go in and use some Huda Beauty powder. Uh, I actually ordered a new pink one, but it still haven't arrived. So I'll review that on my channel soon. I think it's called Cherry Blossom something, something like that. Okay, so I've been using the cream bronzers now for a while and the one that I really like is the Tarte one. This is the Br Breeze cream bronzer. 
in shade Seychelles and it doesn't look nice but I used it a lot and what I like to do is go in with my brush and step onto the skin and then I go in with my beauty blender and blend this Take my beauty blender and blend. This sh color is also perfect if you have neutral skin tone. It makes me look sun kissed and I love bronze look. I use a lot of bronze because I love how it really looks on my skin and it I look healthy and I just like that. I know some people think maybe think I have too much bronze or it's too much bronzer, but I like that. And for the blush, I am actually going to go in with Kaya Cosmetics Cream Blush. And I directly apply it like this on my skin. It doesn't remove my foundation. It's buildable, it's beautiful and long lasting, guys. This is definitely long lasting. Now you have some different colors. Let's go in with the Beauty Blender. Okay, so I'm going to set my T-zone with that powder from Huda Beauty. So sure it doesn't move. Okay. So for the eyeshadows, I've been using this for months, the Sigma powder, and I really like it. It's really fast to use, it's easy, and doesn't take a long time to fill in my eyebrows. And I love my eyebrows, how they are. They're not perfect, but I love them. So I've been using this one a lot. I like to go in with the lighter shades and then deep up with the darker shade. Okay, and then I do like to go in with the Believe Beauty, uh, Believe Beauty Gel, Eyeshadow Brow Styling Gel now. Uh, it, this is a good gel. It's not my favorite. This is in darker brown. It's not my favorite because the brush sometimes collects a lot of um, pigment or gel. So sometimes I destroy my eyebrows. I need to go in and clean everything up, but it's good. It's good. It does last a long time on my eyebrows. Now, I don't know if you can see, I just had a drop here from that. There's the only downside with this. I'm going to back, go back with this palette and I'm going to take the darker mahogany color here. This shade here, work it under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go take another brush and go in with the same thing that we had in the crease to kind of blend out. I'm going to go in with Rose Quartz Huda Beauty Highlighter. And it doesn't look nice as it did in the beginning because I've been using it a lot. And I like this one. Uh, especially when I give it the time to warm up on, under my fingers, but I like this. It doesn't move my foundation, but gives me that glow from inside. It goes perfect with every single makeup look. And I just love it. I'm going to set everything with Kaya That Extra Hold, my favorite set setting spray. Love this setting spray. And I've been using this Sky Cosmetic Next Level Mascara that I really like. It does start to flake a little bit, just a little bit, like a couple of dots after like 10 hours of wearing this foundation, uh, foundation mascara, but it's really good. I still like it. It doesn't smudge and it doesn't flake too much. So one or two flakes, it doesn't bother me, but it's a nice, nice mascara. And now I also have all of the five lip liners or crayons from Linda Halberg. She released five different, different crayons that are like lip liners, but you can use them all over the face. They are waterproof. Um, it says here, this is, how the outside, this is how the outside packaging looks. And it says 24 hour long lasting and waterproof makeup pencil bound to no rules. It is really a special formula that I really, really enjoy. It is definitely waterproof. It's long lasting. I like it. 
I've used it like a eyeliner but I'll, or eyeshadow base and I also use it as an eyeshadow and also as a lip liner. I really, really like it. I have all shades. I'm going to swatch them. This one is in shade Rosy No Gut. And the shade that I'm using the most rosy no gut then we have another shade that it's called malo mo mo you can see it's more pink then we have another one that it's called the sepia or sepia sepia not really sure how to pronounce that's more like a brown color. I like this one as um eyeliner. Then we have another one that it's called Cherry. And this, I think Cherry is the deepest one and I really like this one. Cherry. And then we have the last one that it's called Dusty Pink. This one is the one that I've used the most, but look at this shade. They're really, really beautiful, pigmented, creamy, but not too creamy, also waterproof. I really like them. I also bought uh, one lipstick from Linda Halberg. This is the new lipsticks from Linda Halberg. This is in shade Majestic Mellow Mauve, and it's a really beautiful nude color, brown color. So I'm going to use that one as my lipstick today. And we're going to use the same color for the lip liner. Mellow Mo. Mo? I don't know, I don't know if I pronounce it right, but I will write it down below. Or on the screen so you can see. Okay, I like the packaging though. It's really cute. It's really creamy lipstick. It feels really nice on the lips and I really like it. I really like it. Doesn't really maybe go with this lips with this eye look, but this is how it looks. So I'm going to show you. I'm really pressing hard. And they're not moving anywhere. Now the, the lipstick is going to move, of course, because this lipstick you can use as a blush or um, however you want, but I really enjoy. It feels comfortable. I like the lipstick. Okay, so this is the final look. Now I'm not going to wear any eyelashes because I'm not going anywhere actually. I'm going to stay at home today and just relax. But I really wanted to show you guys all of these products that I've been using for a while. I showed them on my videos before when I just used them first time, but I want to do those kind of videos where I buy new stuff, do like a first impression videos, but also review them up to a couple of months to actually go in into the deep and tell you what I really like, feel about them, what I like the, about the products, what I don't like about the products. Depends on if it is really as good as I thought it would be or as it was, or if it, or if it is as good as I first, um, as my first experience. Sometimes there are some products that didn't work first time, but me trying it out with different, um, different bases or different uh, different techniques, uh, I start to like it more. Some products I loved in the beginning, but then after using it, maybe it start it made me break out or I'm, um, I didn't like it at the end. So first impressions are really good. I love first impressions, but it's really. Uh, you can really talk about the product of using it for a while. And that is what I really want to go into um, on my channel. I'm not good as other YouTubers to do that, but I really want to be more good. I want to buy less makeup, review less ma ma more makeup, and uh, use more product that I own. And just tell you my th thoughts now. This makeup is beautiful. And these eyeshadows from MAC Cosmetics just makes everything pop more, uh, makes every eyeshadow makeup or eyeshadow look look stunning and beautiful. I have all of the shades and I really enjoy every single of them. If you haven't tried them, do so. Um, but that is everything, guys. I hope you like this video. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products. What do you think about them? Are you curious to try more? Now, I have more and more makeup to try out and review on my channel. This is just the beginning. But it's important to talk about the makeup that already exists 
out there. Now, there are so many new releases, releases, so some new products are not as new as they were like a week ago. So it's really, uh, I really like to use product that I have, or I need to be better of using product that I have and talk about them more. Now, I still have plenty of makeup to review. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what do you think about this makeup look? What do you think about this product? Is there any product that you are really uh, hooked to these couple of months or weeks? Let me know down below. I would love to know and maybe try. Thank you so much for watching. Don't, for like, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.